Live streaming is continuously gaining in popularity because there's so many purposes to live stream. Maybe you're just posting on social media or an online video sharing site for entertainment purposes, connecting with friends or family, or it might even be a critical part of your business. Oftentimes people tend to use their camera on their computer, maybe a webcam, or sometimes just a cell phone. This may not give you the premium video quality that you're looking to get, especially when you're trying to stand out amongst your peers and the rest of the crowd. In order to get better premium quality, you might need a better camera. And that brings me to the Alpha 7 Mark IV. This camera can deliver not only premium quality because of the camera body itself, but gives you the flexibility of changing the lens to really make sure you get the look that you are going for. I'm Derek from Sony. I'm gonna show you how to get it set up for live streaming. With just one USB-C cable, you can connect your Sony Alpha 7 Mark IV to your live streaming setup to live stream it in full HD, 4K, with audio, and you can also record internally onto the camera's SD card at the same time. Now, a lot of other setups might not even let you record audio while you're doing video, and you might need a separate microphone and cables and interfaces and all these extra things that can make for a very complicated setup. USB-C, that's all you need. And because it's just one cable, all you really need is the Sony Alpha 7 Mark IV, that USB-C cable that we mentioned, and a PC or a compatible smartphone. Now, when it comes to smartphones, keep in mind that you may need additional third-party software, and of course, terms and conditions may apply. So here are all the steps you need to get set up with live streaming. First of all, you're gonna take your USB cable, and I would recommend you use the one that came with the camera because it will handle the data transfer rates in order to get the most resolution out of the Alpha 7 Mark IV. Not all USB-C cables are created equal, and some might limit the resolution, not giving you as good of a performance. Once you have a good solid cable, go ahead and plug one end into the PC, the other end into the camera. Right away, you'll notice that you are prompted for USB streaming on the camera. Go ahead and select that option, and technically you are good to go. You can go ahead and live stream right now if you want to. But keep in mind, you will also need to possibly change some settings on your streaming software in order to accept the external input uh, that is based on the application they're using. So maybe check around in the settings option or the inputs option. Now you're very likely gonna need to actually tell your streaming software what video camera or audio input you're actually using. So you might need to dig around into the settings or the inputs in order to change it to the Alpha 7 Mark IV. In order to access this menu, hit the menu button on the back left of your camera, scroll down to the red shooting option, and then you're gonna go over to USB streaming. From here, the top option will give you the option to change your resolution and your shooting frame rate, which we'll talk about in a moment. And the second option is gonna be where you can turn on the option to record internally to SD card or not. The Alpha 7 Mark IV can record in a variety of different resolutions and frame rates, so you can choose the right one to fit your situation or your artistic purposes. This gives you the option to prioritize either the resolution or to have a higher frame rate for smoother motion. And that's it for the setup of live streaming on the Sony Alpha 7 Mark IV. I've been Derek from Sony. Thanks for watching.